Okay, welcome back to another game. We're going to play a rematch against this guy. Uh, okay, yeah. I blundered really hard in our first game, and I'm actually too embarrassed to post the uh, video. Normally, I don't mind posting losses, but it was embarrassingly bad. So let's try our luck again. I feel like I can do better. I was playing as black, and I played a really risky move in the Karo Khan. And, uh... Yeah, it didn't pay off. And then I was like down nine points of material and blundered the queen. But uh yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can do better today. Or not today, in the second game with him. You too. <laughs> I think we can do better. H5. I don't see it too often. I normally don't like playing H3 so often, but when I see the very early uh, H5 push, I tend to go for it. In our first game that we played, I think he did four knight moves with the same knight in the um, first ten moves or something like that. Um, so he's very knight happy. <laughs> uh, to put it one way. Thinking about this hard. Marcin. What's it gonna be? He be debating. I didn't feel like getting annoyed by the pawn on e4 because it makes a knight of three a bit difficult. So, you know. Um, and this I feel like I can, I think. Debating if I want to plant this on e5 and then if he pushes i can always just go back h4 or excuse me h2 um it's just going to create some annoyances don't know how much i care about this bishop i think if he starts pushing all his pawns up the bishop on this dark square diagonal does not become as uh as valuable but 
I think I'm just going to go back to h2 and just try to take this knight. If he pushes up with the pawn, then I don't know. I figured that was coming. I kind of just don't want to open up this diagonal because I don't have... I'm not castled yet. Well, the rooks are not connected. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I'm really tempted to just push up... Uh, no, I can't go h4 because I just lose a pawn. I think I have to go for that even trade here, unfortunately. And I think I want to trade this knight off here. Let me think about this. If he pushes this pawn up, I'm most likely going to have to castle queenside. So. Oh, also, that was just um, a free pawn. I think he has to go protect this pawn. Hey, I have an open H file. I don't like open H files, personally, as white. I tend to not do as well. So we'll see if he notices. I think he'll probably go f5 here. I'll either go f5 or I'm fully expecting uh, rook g8 as well. Yeah, f5 seemed like the more reasonable choice. Uh, it's probably d3 is... Really all we can play here. I think we have to castle queenside here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to push the... Well, if I push the pawn up, I just completely lock in my dark square bishop. But obviously, I'm just uh, losing here. If I take that. Yeah. I think this is a really sad move that I have to play and lock in the bishop uh, until I can connect the rooks. I kind of want to keep my king on, uh, excuse me, my queen on light squares for some reason. Only because his king is still on light squares. I don't quite want to push the c pawn yet if I'm going to castle queen side. Then again, hmm. I'm debating between between queen queen d two and queen e two. I'm trying to think if it's better to keep the queen and the bishop on the light squares, or even if it matters. I want a castle. 
Maybe dark squares. Oh. I think I'll just go queen d2. Maybe I can try to snipe this uh, rook somehow. Just gonna go for the castle already. Um, I'd like to play a little bit safer, get the knight out, and then just connect the rooks. Kind of want to push this f pawn, so I can at least get the knight out to like a better square. Queen c three, and then pushing the pawn up is uh, definitely an idea as well. Actually, you know, let's just go knight e2, connect the rooks, and then we'll take it from there. <laughs> Surprised he went for that. I was thinking... Hmm. Well, I do have a nice check here. I think he's looking for uh, the check here on a2. So I kind of want to just move my king over to b2. Could always just go a3. I have this b5 check, trade-off check, and then maybe a3. a3. I think a3 is the play. Yeah, he gets the check here, but I just go back to uh, b2, and then what has he really accomplished? I mean, if he wants to trade the knight for the bishop, I mean, so be it, I guess. Mm. Actually, maybe I should just trade the bishops off here. He could always just block in with a pawn, which would be annoying. Mm. Let's think about this. I think I'm just going to go with a3. If he checks, it's fine. I'll just go b1. If he takes my light square bishop, oh well. And then this situation here, I need to take care of at some point. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was a bit afraid of. Yeah, that's a really unfortunate move. I had a feeling that might happen. Um, I don't think there's any stopping that either. Uh, that really sucks. Yeah, I really got myself into a pickle with this uh, bishop on h2, didn't I? Hmm. Yeah, it's basically asking asking to be taken. Hmm. Well, I'm going to be losing a bishop and a rook here.
Yeah. A3 was a big mistake, I feel. Hmm. Man, what could I have really done there? Yeah, that's tough. I guess I sort of have to go ninety two, and then sort of cut my losses here and just lose two points of material. I was thinking about knight f3, but oh, excuse me, uh, pawn f3, but then he takes with the g pawn. Yeah, I was thinking uh, pawn f3, he takes. He blocks in with his bishop. I block in with the knight. But then he still takes the rook either way. So I would have just lost a knight and a pawn. Or no, I would have just lost a, a knight. That makes sense. But I think this is a bit better because I'm only losing two points of material here. So I still have some kind of chance. The really bad thing here is that... Um, Nothing's protecting my rook, so if I move this dark square bishop, uh, nothing's going to be protecting it, so it's a bit rough. <laughs> Going for the queen. Interesting move. Well. I'm going to come out here and look for this pawn push and snipe. Really? What am I missing here? I think he really wants to get his uh I think he really wants to get his uh rook over here. I mean, yeah, cuz if I'm moving if I'm moving this bishop, I'm losing the rook and then it's just going to be much worse off for me. So, I'm going to just look for this rook here myself. Um and then wish me luck from here. I think there was probably some way that I could have um, tried to block in this bishop here, but I'm just going to try to make the more forcing move here. Yeah, finds it. <laughs> uh, Marcin sees everything. Okay, so what can I do about this? Getting the knight out of here seems pointless. This pawn is hanging at the moment. I can't forget about Oh, no, it's not hanging. It's defended by the rook here. Now it's hanging. <laughs> I always forget about that. I always uh mess this up. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's 
six and offer the trade. I think opening up the file for him is worse here. I'll have a nice fork if I can get my knight out here onto c6. I'll be forking the rook and the dark square bishop, which is hanging. So I'm just going to offer this and uh, hope for the best. I'm surprised he hasn't taken my rook yet. I'll just say that. Could also push the pawn up, but I don't think that's as strong. I think the fork is stronger. Maybe pawn e6 was just better here. It's defended by the knight. Hmm. Yeah, maybe pawn e6 was better here. Maybe that just wins a pawn. I'll have to. I, I want to check. I want to check that position out in the review. What is it? Move 21. I think pawn e6 was actually better here, right? Because, let's see, pawn e6, he's forced to move. Then I probably could have moved up to c6 and looked for the check here. Hmm, I'm not sure. Not sure. Obviously, if he doesn't take the queen, I just have mate on a8. But this guy seems like a pretty good player, so I don't think he would fall for that. I honestly feel like his best bet in this position is to go uh, queen d5. Then I'm forced to take with the queen. Um, then he takes with the bishop. And then um, he should still be winning this rook. Yeah. I need to go back to move 21 and look and see if uh, pawn e6 was better here. Really? Well, I do have the really nice check here. I'm just so surprised he went for that. I can continue to harass the queen this way. I can win a pawn. If this comes with check, then... Let's see, check. I can't really do anything else after that. I mean, I can go check and win this pawn, but... The bummer part here is that my rook is attacked, and my rook is going to be attacked this way. So... I have a lot of options here. I feel like he set me up with options. I have the check, but I don't know. Doesn't seem very good. I have the pawn takes here. Also have knight takes. I think knight takes is actually stronger because if I can get my knight out here, I'm protecting these two squares. So his king will be forced to uh, move to here. And then once I push this pawn to e6, this rook will be on this diagonal. I also do just have the check here and it wins a pawn. 
And then he's forced to take. So let me think about e queen e6. Queen e6. He takes back. Knight. Pawn. Maybe it's not as good. Actually, if I go queen a8, uh, he's going to have to go d7. I can push the pawn up since it's protected by the knight. And then after that, I could move the knight as well, and that would be a check. And then I believe I could win a rook. I'm just going to try this risky move. I'm going to try not to overthink this. And I believe we might honestly even just trade queens off here. I don't know. This position is very confusing. I can't calculate everything here. This is beyond my comprehension. <laughs> if I'm being honest. It's above my pay grade. <laughs> I can come back. Well, let's think. I can go pawn e6. It gets the check. He goes d7. I can come back and get the check again because I'm still protected by the knight. So I think I could just win his queen. Yeah, actually, I think this is a winning position. Well, when I say winning, I mean winning the queen, not winning the game. Let's see how this goes. He only has one valid move. I don't know why he's uh, thinking too hard about it. <laughs> he only has one move, right? Yeah, he only has one move. Personally, I feel like he should have taken the rook a long time ago. But that's just me. That's just my 900 ELO brain talking. He has to go king d7. I don't, there's nowhere else he can go. Yeah. So then we probably want to deliver check here. With the pawn. It's protected by the knight. I guess we could trade queens off here too. I mean, he can just take with his queen. That's a viable option too. But this pawn thing just seemed way more fun in my head. So I'm going to play it. <laughs> yeah. This is actually a double check. So I can get my queen back out. Oh, I was thinking queen c6, but I forgot his queen could, could uh, recapture this pawn. But uh, I actually could be winning a rook here, I think. Yeah, because this is a discovered check. Obviously, he takes. He probably wants to take my rook at this point. I'll take his rook. He probably wants to take mine, but I'll be taking his. Um, yeah, he could win the bishop. No. No, this is... Oh, my God. Oh, man, I blundered that so hard, bro. Oh, wow. I really blundered that. Shoot. I got... Uh, I completely... I, I was not focused on this bishop whatsoever. Oh, well, I'm still up three points, so whatever, I'll take it. Um, 
Okay, now we're cooking. <laughs> I feel like we're cooking now. Whatever we do, don't lose the rook. I have to get this horrible bishop out of here too. I'm just going to be really difficult. <laughs> it's extremely trapped in. Uh, he'll probably go king d6 here. Protect the pawn. It does not go king d6. Oh, right. I can't take that. That's defended. Whoops. This is on passant, so I don't really want to play it. A bit annoying. He's got the bishop here. Least valuable bishop award goes to... If I go something like b4, he's just going to push up a4. I'll lock in my whole position. I need this bishop in my life. All of these squares are attacked. It's crazy. Just pin that bad boy, I guess. That might have been a blunder. <laughs> It'll be a miracle if, if uh, we win this one. Oh, yeah. Should have recognized that move, I guess. Yeah, it was such a blunder. What was I thinking? That was that was such a stupid move. Whoop, whoop. Let's get the draw and repetition here. <laughs> wow, really?
It comes with check, but he can ampassant. I don't know. Oh, he has check there. Hmm, probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, this F4 F4 Umpassant is really unfortunate. I'm really tempted to just give it to him so I can get my rook out here to F4 and then just take care of the pawn. I shouldn't have done that. I don't want to line up with this bishop. Don't really want to go here because this is all taken by the uh, pawns. Maybe I just go. Su no, I can't even support this square. I get checked here and then I just move back. Nope. Okay. I'm really tempted to just take a draw here, honestly. Was this just GG or something? I'm just going to go for this en passant move. If he notices it, great. If he doesn't, whatever. I just need to let this pawn move so I can get this bishop out already. I, I don't know. He might notice it. He might not. I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't notice it, so it's good for me. Yeah, he could have taken there. Why do I want to block off? This way or that way? I don't know. <laughs> I think honestly he can come start attack. Well, I can finally get my bishop out since this is all locked in now. It's fine. Actually, maybe it's not fine. I think e7 is actually just... Oh, uh, e7 is almost mate. 
Oh wait, but that's defended. Haha. <laughs> e7 was almost mate. Feels bad. Can't go there. Just get this bishop off of this worst square in the world. <laughs> yeah. Two bishops versus a bishop and a rook. Oh no. Oh. Definitely losing this guy. Damn it. Yeah, GG. I made such a blunder there. Ooh. Wow. You really gave that to me. Um, yeah, no. We're we're saving that. <laughs> Can have this. Okay then. My king can't cross. It's a bit weird. When in doubt, move the king to the center. What do I do here? YOLO. Did I decline to draw? I didn't even decline to draw. Oh, I just lost this pawn. Well, no. I'm trying to get a queen. Oh. Wow. Oh, he goes that way. Honestly, man, I'll take the draw. I don't know why he offered that. He was clearly winning. Why draw? I don't know if he was just trying to be nice or something. I was uh I was thinking he would take with the bishop there. I was just kind of um cracking under the pressure there. Man, this whole game escalated because of uh, the bishop on h2. 
there was so I think there was a lot of chances to win here. Um, especially like when the queens were over here, like on c6 and e6. Yeah, it was a bit all over the place. So let's see where he blundered first. Yeah, he blundered with this queen move because it started allowing this pawn check here. Hmm. Yeah, this was a good move. Ah. Uh. Taking here. And I'd be up eight points in material here. Well, but then, no. Even then, I'm just three points of material here. I think, honestly, that position would have ended the same way no matter what, right? Let's just say, for example sakes, I were to go here. This is just so much worse. Okay, yeah, so it looks like I did play the right moves here with uh, this whole situation. And then what was it? Knight takes. What could I have really done here? Well, how did I play it out? So I'm up three here. Yeah, I mean... I guess the difference between what I played and what the engine recommends is that I would have ended up with the rook on the open D file, which probably would have been more valuable, um, all things considered, but yeah. Um, okay, yeah, engine, I'm sorry, but I'm not dropping the bishop on C2, or uh, what is that, C7. <laughs> no, thank you. I really want to see what it says about um, this H3 move. I would have seen it coming. Honestly, I should... No, I couldn't have traded off because I would be losing a rook here. Right? Yes, yeah, so now my knight's pinned. So I'm like way worse off. Yeah, this just seems horrible here. Yeah, very interesting way to punish the London system. And then let's um let's see where he fell apart. Oh. Uh, could he have done the en passant? Yeah, see he could have done the en passant. I was hoping this would have happened. I actually would have been happier about this. Um but clearly that didn't happen. I was I I was just judging by the way he was playing. He was playing really well. And uh I figured he would have noticed this. But Oh well. So where did it fall apart for him? What was my move here? Hmm. The check here, and he's forced. He only has one move here, right? And then what could I even do here? Queen. Oh, and then this would have won a bishop. Yeah, I actually had a surprising amount of squares uh, attacked here because of these pawns. I did notice that his king could move around in here. I just wasn't really thinking about how um, separating his king out from the bishop was going to be winning there. But yeah, I could see how that would have been very good. I should have thought about that. Honestly, if I, I think if I would have played uh, this rookie 7 move, I, I think I could have uh, taken it from there. But... Yeah, rough. Honestly, he was a very good player. I don't know why he offered the draw. I think maybe he was just trying to be nice or something. Uh, I totally blundered on a rook d2. I wasn't paying attention here. Taking the pawn was good. My king was just so cut off here. <laughs> the bishop pair is really deadly, I guess, when you get him lined up like that. Pushing the rook up, yeah. I was just cracking under time here. Uh, what I thought would happen here was he would take with the bishop. And then um, it would give me some chance to move. But even thinking about it now, like, I see how it wouldn't have been possible. But, um, yeah, whatever. I'll take the draw, I guess. But he's a good player. 
and just look at his profile. Yeah, well played. Looks like he's been around sort of the 900s for a while, so... Yeah, not, not too surprised that he uh, played well. But yeah, GG Marcin. Thanks for the game, and see you guys in the next one.